yes uh, we will continue the remaining in a second video now we are in the view layout uh, i mean we will recreate once again the view container view element just remove element just right click in click on insert element okay vcn alv view container ui element now we have created a view container ui element in the view layout now just save it now go to windows go to properties here also we have to create the controller usage click on here now go to window just expand this expand this and just right click on the view container click on embed view to embed the view just click on f4 here and select the table so table is the uh, window of alv component right done we have to embed the alv component window in our component okay right now we have created the controller usage component usage now just come here just come here component usages just expand this and then select the a interface controller usage and here you can see the data we have to map the our comp our control our context to the data context of alv component just click on controller usage and select this right side it will be displayed okay here uh, even you can see here mara underscore table is the context which is created in our component controller so just expand this i mean uh, just drag and drop to right side to left side to the data context of alv component just release it. external mapping for context element data was defined yes save it just activate the entire webdim pro component activate it okay now component come to the component controller go to methods just go to wd init here we will write the business logic normally uh, as per mvc architecture uh, we should have the business logic written in assistance class or we should have the business logic written in the function module uh, and then uh, function module can be called from the uh, component controller methods or uh, create a assistance class for the webdin pro component and within that assistance class create some list of methods within that methods you can call the business logic you can write the business logic and comp assistance class methods can be called from a component controller methods so this is how it has to be executed but for timing we will be right we are writing the select query here select star from mara into table lt underscore mara where so we just write up to 10 rows okay now just do the data declaration lt underscore mara type table of mara okay this is what now once we have the data retrieved from database just bind it to the context node so to bind the data to context node you can take the help of webdin pro code wizard just click on webdin pro code wizard set and as table operation we will be discussing more detail about the webdin pro code wizard in the actual training so select this and just click ok code will be generated automatically so you can see the code is generated automatically and now coming here and uh, just here pass lt underscore mara ok done that's all just click on webdin pro component right click 
I'm not doing it. Okay, now just right click on Webdin Pro component. This is how we have to create the Webdin Pro application. Uh, like for a modulable program, you will not be able to execute it directly. So you will be creating a transaction code for a modulable program to see the output. The same way for Webdin Pro component also, Webdin Pro component to see the output, we have to create the Webdin Pro application. So by creating the application and executing it, we will be able to see the uh, developed uh, Webdin Pro component output. When you create a Webdin Pro application, a, a URL will be generated. So now we will see how to create a Webdin Pro application. This is what Webdin Pro training and let us give some name application. Okay, just click OK. Okay, this is what training. Okay, just you can see the URL here. Okay, URL is created. Now just click here okay, and just save. Send transport request and now this execute it. Test. Yes, this is what the ALV output. Yes. Okay, you can see the entire data of uh, Mara table, and uh, as we have retrieved only ten records, it is displaying only uh, ten records. So you can see the entire data of Mara table. Okay.